What's up? It's your boy Donovan, and this is art vlog number six. I'm finally putting some paint on the paper mache mask this week. I made a rough sketch in Procreate just so I could test out a few different color combos. And I ended up settling on the blue-black skin, really similar to the gouache painting that I did of my star babies. And if you haven't already seen that video, you should definitely check that out. I didn't go with the red because it felt a little too intense and it felt like it didn't match the intention of my piece. I didn't want it to be associated with violence or anger because this mask is heavily inspired by voodoo and West African traditional religions, and I don't want them to be associated with like violence or anger or rage, which I think the red would give off. And I also considered doing just like a natural dark brown skin tone, but to me that just felt a little too bland. It felt like it didn't have enough character. So I ended up going with the blue black skin tone, one to communicate blackness, and secondly, to give it a bit of imagination and a bit of whimsy. I laid on several different layers of paint, starting with the lightest tone of blue, working my way into the darkest tone, and then going back in later and adding highlights to some of those like rounder areas, like the cheeks and the forehead and nose, and then adding some shadows and darker areas into the creases of the mask. Next week you'll see me add some hair to the top and then I'm also going to add a collar around it as well. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. In drawing class we've been focusing on contour line drawings um, and communicating form and shadow and shape in heavily detailed surface objects. So for example, in this image, I'm drawing a crumpled sheet of paper as well as a plastic grocery bag. So you'll see what I mean by surface detail and line work here in a minute. I started off with the pencil and then I went back in with charcoal to give it more variation and more depth. I ended up scrapping this drawing. I didn't turn this in because I didn't feel that confident and I just started over on something completely different and turned that in late. Uh, but now that I see it again, I wasn't doing a horrible job. I think that it was just frustrating me at the time and I was also kind of tired. Um, so I, it wasn't looking good to me then, but I would say it was giving what it was supposed to give. Smash that like button if you agree. And in the comments, if you don't agree, let me know. <laughs> the still life that we started last week, in which we drew out a bunch of thumbnails, we finally blew them up this week and began on the larger piece. This is the progress of mine. It looks really detailed here, but it's actually not finished. And if you come back next week, you'll see it when it's complete. In 3D design, we started a topographic sculpture project. Here are some examples right here. Our options for materials are either foam, core board, or wood, and I'm choosing to do mine in wood just because I want it to be a, a nice quality project that I can hang up in my apartment if I want. I was looking at inspiration in deserts and mountain regions, so I kind of just started to play around with different shapes in Procreate, just sketching some things out. Now I liked where I was going with this first sketch, but to me it just felt like it needed more movement and it needed more negative space. So I ended up looking through my folder of reference images that I keep on hand for different art projects and I found this one. These rolling hills are just so lush and so beautiful that I want to capture the softness of that image in my topographic project. So I started to develop something around that concept. 
the final shape ended up looking really organic. It almost looks viral in the way that it's expanding and with how round it is, but I really like the shapes. I think it's going to turn out really nicely. I'm scaling that rough sketch up into a cleaner draft so that I can print this and use it as a template to trace onto my wood and then I will cut those pieces out of wood and layer them up to create the depth as you saw in those example images. Although I feel like I'm doing really well in my 3D classes this semester, I have to be honest and say that sculpture and things like this are not my forte. It doesn't really come all that naturally to me. When I'm trying to plan out a three-dimensional project, in my brain, I'm just like, I'm, I'm hoping that what I'm thinking and what I'm putting in the 2D is gonna translate when it you know, moves into the 3D. I had a lot of trouble with my nine cubes project. Um, I kept trying to make that merry-go-round work and I just could not get it to make any sense, which is why I ended up going with the bench in the end. I love how it looks in Illustrator. It gets so like gooey and like loose and smooth and it, it does look very um, soft and organic exactly the way that I wanted. Here's the final template. I will print this out, like I said, and cut these pieces out of wood and stack them up. Um, I will start that process next week. So again, make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Boy Donovan. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.